Hi, this is Renee Rochars, uh, Interim Superintendent of the Long Hill Township Public Schools. And this evening, I'm going to give the second quarter update on the strategic plan goals. So let me just, we are recording this session uh, and we'll be posting that on the district website. Let me just uh, share my screen. start the slideshow. So this is our quarterly plan update. Our agenda this evening is to review the progress towards the attainment of strategic plan goals and then to provide a question and answer period. The first goal that was adopted by the Board of Education as part of the strategic plan is to promote lifelong learners through rich curriculum that helps students identify and develop their unique gifts, value in the community, and their role as global citizens. And underneath uh, this goal, we have uh, three different objectives. The first is to provide training tools and opportunities for both students and teachers to encourage original thinking and innovation. Uh, the second objective is to maintain optimal individualized learning environments that emphasize critical thinking skills. And the third is to use appropriate and balanced methods, including project-based, experiential, place-based, and tactile learning to support the development of the whole child. So what has happened uh, during the second quarter and during the current school year to support the curriculum articulation with the high school, the central middle school teachers are engaging in a series of visits to Watch on Hills to help them observe classes and to dialogue with the Watch on Hills teachers in their specific discipline. These experiences help our teachers to better prepare our students for success at the secondary level. Our students at the middle school level have participated in gifted and talented consortium activities, which provide a wide range of topics, including debate and the Model UN Conference, which will be coming up uh, later on this month and will be held at Drew University. Uh, Central Middle School is actually sending four delegations to the Model UN on a, on a variety of topics. The STEAM program, uh, Science Technology, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math uh, is offered to students in pre-K through five and provides an opportunity to engage in project-based learning and engineering activities. Students at Millington and Gillette schools have been participating in the New Jersey Consortium for Gifted and Talented Programs Winter Challenge. This challenge uh, involves creating a school mascot in a physical form and also an attribute, a virtue of that character, uh, a trait such as honesty, courage, or compassion. Our second goal is to engage the Long Hill Township stakeholders to actively support excellence in the school district. And three objectives for this goal to develop valuable opportunities for community members to support the Long Hill Township School District, to implement a variety of uh, strategic communications that proactively, regularly, and with consistency provide important and timely information about district happenings, and to audit the website information and functions to ensure optimal communication so the website is a go-to source for district information. In terms of our updates for goal two, a survey was conducted in the fall to allow the community to provide input with regard to the qualities and experience that the district stakeholders consider important for the new superintendent of schools. The preschool committee, uh, which is a committee that included community members and was formed in the fall to review preschool enrollment trends and facility use and to conduct a survey to assess the need and interest in a public school preschool program in Long Hill. The preschool committee presented their findings and recommendations at the December 5th Board of Education meeting. That information is also available on the website. 
The Board of Education's Community Relations Committee continues to meet regularly to discuss ways to improve district communication efforts. And that committee also continues to review the current district website and to make uh, recommendations to ensure that information that is shared through the website is current and also easy to access. Our third goal is to update and maintain safe and sustainable facilities that promote innovative fluid learning. And we have five objectives under this goal. The first being to increase district control of facility management, to create fluid and flexible workspaces and seating throughout the buildings, create and communicate a clear technology plan, create a cycle for facilities uh, repair and upgrades, and to elevate community awareness of district financial needs and to engage the community support for fundraising when possible. Uh, to update on uh, progress uh, towards attainment of these goals, uh, Mr. Mark Persina, our interim facilities manager, and Mr. Dan Borgo, who is our school business interim school business administrator, have worked jointly with our liaison from Pritchard, that is our uh, the company that provides our maintenance and custodial services personnel to uh, ensure effective and efficient operations and in terms of the maintenance and cleaning of our school buildings on a regular basis. The Board of Education's Buildings and Grounds Committee has been working on the development of a five-year facility plan that will guide the planning and financing of any capital uh, projects. And the Board of Education's Finance Committee has been exploring some options to increase district revenue. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, my uh, PowerPoint is not advancing. Oh, there we go. Uh, the fourth goal uh, is to create a positive and connected a uh, school community that honors individuality, potentiality, and lifelong learning. And there are four objectives for this goal. The first, to enhance district-wide social and emotional learning programs, to create productive citizens through school-wide service projects, to implement holistic approaches to student development, and to enhance the detection and monitoring of early warning signs for the need for social and emotional support within the school community. To update on activities with regard to this fourth uh, goal area, the district considers social emotional learning to be a key component in helping our students become strong, resilient individuals who are caring and compassionate. A number of assemblies and ongoing programs are offered in all three school buildings and are connected to the longstanding instruction in character education. An example is the David Blood Assembly, which was funded through the Long Hill Education Foundation and offered to the Central Middle School students. That assembly focused on acceptance of self and others. Students were encouraged to be inclusive and one of the key uh, themes of this presentation was never let anyone eat lunch alone. Students in pre-K through five participate in the Choose Love curriculum, which was created by Scarlett Lewis. She is the mother of Jesse Lewis, one of the students who was lost in the Sandy Hook massacre. Uh, it's a very comprehensive program and uh, our, our, that has, those lessons have recently been launched at both Gillette and Millington schools. All three of our schools routinely engage in school-wide service projects, a number of which were recently held as a precursor to the holidays. There was a, a code drive uh, that was con uh, conducted. Actually, there were kind of two, uh, one by the PTO, and then there was a separate uh, effort by 12 Baskets. Uh, all of those codes actually going uh, to uh, the 12 Baskets initiative so that they can be uh, used uh, to help those in the community. Jerry Cologne, our Director of Special Services, and Jocelyn Merritt, our school psychologist, recently updated the district's risk assessment procedures. These procedures give guidance to our staff on identifying and providing support to students as needed due to mental health issues that might be identified through student behavior or language. 
And I recently completed training provided through the New Jersey Department of Education on behavioral threat assessment uh, and have completed uh, training as a school safety specialist. And we do have a number of other staff members who will also be completing that behavioral threat assessment training. Uh, that all uh, is aligned with uh, the, the law that requires us to, us to have a threat assessment team uh, within the district. So unfortunately, I didn't see any participants uh, jump uh, into the meeting. So uh, unfortunately, um, we're not able to have a question and answer session, but uh, this summary video will be posted online. Uh, obviously, if you do have questions uh, about the goals, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, you can certainly email me. My email address is rrovtar, that's R-R-O-V-T-A-R -R -R at longhill.org. And I look forward to uh, seeing you for our next uh, uh, goal update in several months. Take care. Be well.